quality is your main option. You can click lower or higher, and I believe that'd be for the for sound quality. I believe uh, going up or down would be the sample rate, but it could be the bit rate. I actually haven't experimented with that. Um, and video quality, I'm guessing that's definitely going to be the bit rate. Uh, and then you just click record, and it, this little thing will disappear, and you'll have a square down here, a stop button. And you'll click that when you're done to stop the recording, and it will transcode it into an AUG and Thera, AUG video and Thera audio uh, file, like you see here. Uh, these are all AUG and Thera files, but I renamed them. I didn't convert them. I just renamed the extension to MKV because that's what my scripts look for. If I drop a video file in any of my script directories, it doesn't matter what the content, what the codecs really are. It's just going to look for an MKV file because that's usually what I drop in there. So if it's not .mkv, I just rename it that to .mkv, drop it in there, click my button. But these are actually, like I said, AUG and Thera videos. AUG video, Thera audio. That's what record my desktop transcodes to. It records uh, records on the, f well, it records flat out. Uh, they all record on the fly. It records everything, but does not do any transcoding. It just raw records, which means it's faster. And, and it has higher accuracy uh, because it's not trying to spend CPU cycles transcoding as it records. It does it when it's finished recording. It'll transcode the video, um, which is rather nice. I like it. Uh, with with uh, and now it, it still transcodes to AUG video and Thera audio, which means you'll have to transcode it again with M encoder. But it's very high quality and and it's very um, it doesn't lag very much because it's not encoding on the fly. Um, with Istanbul, it's very shitty quality. You cannot adjust the quality, and it transcodes to AUG on the fly. Um, so Istanbul is kind of X nail on my list. I'm actually going to uninstall it here in a moment, uh, permanently. The other option is FFmpeg. This is for you command line junkies uh, and people who are already very familiar with video transcoding. Um, I do not cover FFmpeg in any of my video transcoding tutorials. I've never gotten around to learning it. It's pretty much the same thing as mEncoder, and I believe it's really the back end for mEncoder. I think mEncoder is like a middleman between uh, mPlayer's filter chains and, uh, and FFmpeg. I, but I believe at, in the end, FFmpeg is actually the uh, engine that does the real transcoding, and mPlayer just filters everything before it gets to FFmpeg. I'm not sure. I know how to use this shit, but I don't research how it was put together and you know its origins. I, I could almost care less, even though I shouldn't say that. I really should look into it so I can say I know. Uh, but anyway, FFmpeg, the standard option to record your screen... Uh, you use the dash F flag for, I guess, it's I guess it's format, and then OSS for the OSS sound driver, then I for the input device to use with OSS, and that'd be dev dot forward slash dev forward slash DSP for your default microphone or what have you, um, and then F again dash F again, and then X11 grab all one word. That's to grab your screen, uh, and the first one's to grab your sound from your microphone. And then uh, dash S is sample or uh, size, and you're going to set that to the dis to the display resolution of your display. Mine's 1680 by 1050. It's a 1 1.6 to 1 ratio, or also known as a 1610 ratio. Um, and when you get into video transcoding real heavy, you'll stop using a uh, fraction or um, ratios, and you'll start using decimal representations of ratios, especially if you use M encoder. Uh, anyway. And I cover ratio conversions from ratio to decimal representation uh, in my video transcoding tutorial where I show people how to transcode DVDs. It's a five-hour tutorial, so you better uh, pop some popcorn before you start watching that one. Uh, R, dash R, that's your frame rate. You actually can specify a number in here, or evidently, this I, I just uh, seen this command somewhere else. Uh, this command says NTSC, which is 29.976 frames per second, or... 30,000 divided by 1,001 as a ratio, uh, 30,000 over 1,001, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, it's 30 frames per second pretty much. Or you could physically put the number 30 in there. I was using the number 25, but uh, when I copied this command tested it out, I liked the uh, result, and so I just went with it. Same dash, same cue. 
Uh, I actually have never seen that command. I, and like I said, I don't look into FFmpeg. I don't know its commands. But I'm, but from what I do understand about video transcoding, I'm guessing that's quantizer, which means use the original quant, use the highest quality quantizer you can, uh, and then dash i would be the input for the video, and then you would put colon zero dot zero, which is display or uh, x server zero display zero, um, and then. After that, there's no flag for the output file. You just specify the path to the output file. And I specified desktop with no forward slash in front of it because when you open a shell, you're automatically in your home directory. So you just specify desktop with no leading slash and then forward slash after desktop and then the name of the file if you wanted to drop it on your desktop. Now, FFmpeg, I've compared the quality. I've been looking at them for about two hours now experimenting with FFmpeg and GTK record my desktop going back and forth doing my little special effects stuff like this and uh, you know lo zooming in looking at the text in the background on some of the files you can see in the background and it's they're both just as good they, they I cannot tell the difference really almost at all but it looks like FFmpeg when you're doing processor intensive shit like this it looks like FFmpeg starts to lag just a hair just barely a hair more than GTK record my desktop and the explanation for that would be because FFmpeg does transcode on the fly as you can see the output right here is dot AVI is encoded to an mp4 format uh, and I don't remember what the um, driver or codec was for the audio let me I'll tell you right now uh, God damn it, I wish I could minimize this without a... Uh... I hate this. This is why I don't like VLC. The reason why I'm using VLC right now... It's not telling me audio information. It did before. The reason why you just see me use VLC with mPlayer... I have mPlayer as my default. Because it's got quick little right click options to quickly do shit. Whereas VLC, if you want to do something, you've got to actually go through the menu, video, uh, zoom, one half, or this menu to do the same thing. Anyway, control J will show you the codecs used in the film or video you're watching. That's why you see me every once in a while open something with VLC. Uh, but yeah, that was FFmpeg's video right here. This is the same video recorded with GTK Record My Desktop. And actually, I meant to re open this with VLC again. Uh, as you can see, I record the video very slowly doing my desktop effects so it doesn't glitch out as much. And then I speed it up by dropping it in this folder and clicking my little uh, menu for my script to speed up the frame rate. Um, anyway, with VLC, let's check the codecs used in this one. This one uses a Thera codec for the video and it's not showing the audio codec, but I'm, I'm guessing it's AUG. Anyway, oh, actually, I'm sorry. On neither one of these, I'm using sound. Uh, on, on, if you, you can take out the sound flag for FFmpeg if you don't want to record sound, and for desktop effects and stuff like that, uh, to show off whatever, you don't need sound. It'll just, if you disable sound, it'll, it'll speed it up slightly. That way there'll be less glitching and less lag. So that's why you don't see sound codecs in either of those. Um, this one should have a sound code. No. I disabled sound in all these because these are all just straight up uh, uh, me recording stuff to put together as an intro. All right, well, anyway, FFmpeg records to MP4 video, a generic MP4 video, and I believe the audio was mpg audio which is mp3 um and gtk record my